Well, hello, hello, my beautiful wolf pack. Oh, welcome, welcome. If you're new, please hit that subscribe, hit that bell button so you could get the notifications. Hit those likes, and I appreciate, I appreciate if you share. Okay, today we're doing the money and work, or work and money. Uh, Monday, I posted the general reading weekly reading on on wednesdays i put the love readings today is the work and money and you know saturdays is the um i used to do feelings towards each other but now it's who's ever who's on your mind and what are they thinking of you okay that's going to be for saturdays okay hold on let me get a sip of coffee here mm. very nice today I, I wanted to use my witch's tarot i've been using the witch's tarot this week um, for the general reading, for the love reading, um, I'm doing it now for work and money. I'm gonna do it for so for this week. I'm doing the witch's tarot. Okay. Um, you wanna catch any other messages? Remember they're endless. So whatever time you click on that um, video, and that's when you're supposed to hear those messages, right? Now, if it doesn't resonate with you at that mo at that day or that moment, do it the next day, and you're gonna see how weird it is that it's gonna resonate with you. You know, either the next day or the next week. Okay. So. We're going to clear the negative energy around us. Nice. As you can see, my table is getting more filled with um, my crystals. I introduced them in my other um, video. So if you want to catch those there, my cute little fairy. <laughs> so you want to catch that, all right? I'm going to ask my beautiful guys to please bless and protect the space. I ask that you ensure only trust where the answers come from the divine to these cards. I ask that you let me see, hear, feel, and know the messages you have for my work pack. And I ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved. So it is, so be it. Alright, let's see what messages they have for you here on work and money. Work and money, work and money. You're going to follow it up with the kipper. And then of course I'm going to give you the money deck and... To go, I'm gonna give you one last one, the fortune cookie. All right, what messages you have here for my wolf pack in work and money? Whatever you have here for my wolf pack in work and money. Next reading, I'm gonna do hopefully with the work and money. I'm gonna use the wheel of the year tarot. Okay, I'm gonna switch it up on you guys to see what messages you know you get from different cards. And if it's the same ones, then hey, I will say I don't make this up. <laughs> some people all right let's see what messages you have here for my work pack and work and money please and thank you what messages you have here oh okay that's the first oh you got two of them for the first one or should i put it like this i heard this okay bottom energy you got the king of swords mm. the king of swords you're very intelligent you know what you're doing in your workplace right in your job you know what you're doing people keep testing you people keep testing you but there's something here that you mm, I just see you writing a new page in this chapter right or cutting off something. You see how the sword is like he look like he's about to cut off a page or something, looking dead at dead straight at you. So that means that someone is cutting off something. But we'll see what that is, right? Hmm. The Emperor. Okay. You gotta get your position back. Either you're dealing with an authority here or you're gonna be an authority. Maybe that's why they put that's there here. You're standing here knowing what you're going to do. Or maybe you're, like I said, you're going to write a new chapter in this work or in this um, money thing that you have. But for what I see with the emperor is a position that you're getting. You're going to be getting a position, a high position. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You're going to be receiving a message. Okay. And the message here is of, of love, right? But, it, but when I see it like that, it just means you're going to be over these sharks. There's sharks that are coming for you, but you're going to be over these sharks, right? It's something that you're going to love. You see all those hearts? You see all those hearts coming out of the cup? That means something that you're going to love. 
So you're going to be in a good position soon if you have not gotten there yet. Okay, the Eight of Wands. This is a whirlwind of things that are going to be thrown your way. You're going to have to learn how to control this one right here because that looks like a tornado. You know, tornadoes pass by and then they just destroy everything and then they go. They leave you with the destruction. Okay, from what I see, it could be in your head too. So whatever here, a whirlwind you have in your head, you need to start focusing. Okay? Right here. The Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Please, please, guys. Ooh, thank you. Ooh, you got two. All right. You got the two... The Ten of Swords, sorry, the Ten of Swords. Another thing here, like you hit rock bottom, right? You hit the the last thing that you could do, the most thing you could do in your job. You already have done it. So this is like you transitioning from one position, and you see how you're running away. I was going away. That means you're going towards something that's gonna give you this position here. And look, the Empress. Not only you got the Emperor, but you got the Empress. That never happens a lot, you know, when you get them like that here at the same time. So this means that this is going to be an, um, very emotional for you. This is also going to be um, a rebirth or something. Because as you see her holding her stomach, that means she's pregnant here in this picture. But for that, I just need, I just see it as a rebirth. Like something new here. You're going towards something new. Maybe this position here wasn't helping you as much. And now you're going towards a new position. Mm. A new position, and that's something that you're going to love. But here is something that in your head that you gotta, you know, bring yourself back. The Knight of Cups, please. The Knight of Cups. Mm. You got the Knight of Cups, but now you have the Nine of Cups. Look at that fulfillment. See so what I'm saying? Look, this is these are losses. You see how they're losses here? But you still have a table full of things. So don't keep looking down at your losses. Look at that. You have stuff left behind. You have things that are left behind. You have love that is left behind. You have power, the will, right? Fighting people that come at you. Have faith. The Eight of Wands, please. The Eight of oh, oh, oh. Sorry, this fell on the floor. Just give me a second. Sorry about that. This is the Six of Pentacles. So whatever is going on here in your head, and it, maybe you think that it's um, not going to be well good enough, and you're worried about your family maybe, you're worried about you know the elderly in your family, your kids, but it's telling you not to fret because this is a victory card. So whatever it is that, you know, like I said again, don't worry about it. It's all in your head. Not it's all in your head, I mean, it's in your head of the worrying a lot, you understand? You're constantly worrying about it. You probably feel that it's not, maybe it's too good to be true. I don't know if that's, that resonates with you, right? So let's see what are the messages they have here, please, please, guys. What are the messages you have here? Hmm. Look how tied up it is here. Tied up it is, and then you got the king of pentacles. So something has you tied up. You're not seeing everything for what it is. Look at look at the throne and look at him. When I see the cake, him holding it, I just say that you could have the, your cake and eat it too. You can have your cake and eat it too. But something has to be, you know, you see it. You have to see it. You're blinded and you're trapped. I feel someone is trapped here. Hmm. Someone has ties to something. Maybe the tie to the job that you're in and the new position is, you know, you're, you're in your head now a, a lot of it because you're going to love that position. It's something that you want or a position that you wanted to go to that's going to bring you victory. Um, but I see you like in your head a lot. So should I take it? Shouldn't I take it? Okay, good. So that's one of the messages you have here for now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you got the queen of pentacles. You know, you're a homemaker, you're a person that wants to, you know, make everything right with somebody or with yourself, right? You like to have everyone around you happy and safe. You're very kind, right? But you have it there. You have everything there. You have the fruit. You have the, you know, your, hmm, you have here the box of pentacles. That means that in money, you're going to see it coming in. You're going to be nourishing whoever, who, who, if you have children... You're going to be nourishing them now because you're going to have the means. You know, the position you're going into is going to be better than what you have now, right? Okay, what are the 
messages, please. What are the messages? One last message. I'm gonna get one last message from shush, 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 shush. one last message from this, and then I'm gonna go with the kipper, okay? Okay, one last message, please. One last message. Alrighty, look at this. I always say I don't make this up, people, but hey, whatever you've been planning, whatever ships you've been waiting for them to come in, they're about to come in because look, this is a rebirth. Something new, everything new. Again, like I said, rewrite everything new. Um, you know, everything is coming for you. Everything is going to be, you have to put the passion in it though. To put that passion in that, you know what I'm saying? Because look at the celebration. That's the ending right here. The three cups. You could be celebrating with family. You could be celebrating with co-workers, you know, friends that are really good, good friends. All right? So, whatever's coming for you here, whatever position, I'm going to word it as, um, take the new position. I'm going to put it that way. Take the new position, okay? Or take that new position. Mm. All right? So, I ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved. So, it is. So, be it. Don't be scared. In your head, you know, maybe you feel like you're not good enough or you feel that you're, um, that you're going to fail in it or you're, you know, like it's not going to be, I don't know. I don't know what you're feeling or whoever the feeling is. But just know that, yeah, it's going to be all right. You just got to, um, you know, look up, see things for what it is, see that you are worthy, that you are worth it, and that you are good enough. Mm -hmm. And get in that throne, honey. Get your position. Get your position. see what messages they have here for you they are either gonna clarify what i said or extend it messages despair look look at this how you're tied up there and all of that and look at despair again and look at him holding his head that means and it says not hiring so maybe that's what that means is that you're thinking that you're not going to receive this position you're not going to receive you know what you've been working for in your head like i said with that card hello I tell you I don't make this up, people. Wealthy man. Are they you're the wealthy person that's wealthy man, or you're gonna be dealing with a wealthy man? Whoever this is for for, for whoever this is. I don't know if 32 and 13 are, are a significant number for you. Okay, yes, look it. <laughs> taking you out of poverty. <laughs> uh, taking you out of this poverty. You're on your way. You are on your way to make better moves making better moves how about that oh i'm gonna board that instead take making better moves i'm a quote i'm a yeah privileged lady again if you're not dealing with the wealthy man because you're the wealthy man and um or the woman the female that's dealing with a wealthy man privileged lady so this could mean you're going to be dealing with a privileged lady or you are the privileged lady with this celebration that i said right getting out of poverty and all that like i say you're gonna be you know your, your dressing is gonna be better you're gonna be in a good position and your children mm. okay and the number 37 and 12 i don't know if that means to you and look what came out occupation <laughs> occupation it's funny because it says main male in the bottom so you could be dealing with um uh, again like i said the wealthy man here or you are the main male we're talking about here right and then occupation. So I'm going to leave it at that. And this is the number one. So that means that this is a new beginning for you. Or whoever this is. Alright. So we're going to get real quick the money deck. So this was a, not that. You know. I didn't put too many out here. on Too many cards and stuff. Because it's, it's like explaining. Explaining really well. Someone that's in despair. Because you're feeling that the position you're going towards. Is not going to be um getting you. You know to a position that you need. You're coming out of poverty from that, yes. And this is your occupation. It's going to be a new occupation. Okay. And yes, that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved. So it is, so be it. Whoa. All right. We got one, two, and one more, please. One more, please. And I think, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'll take that one. Here we go. All right. The bottom energy you got here, it says entitlement. Do you believe you deserve to be rich? Hello. Why or why not? In either case, 
how does this belief and your a, a com what accompanying sorry explanation impact your financial choices? Ooh. Then you have work. I am so done with them. <laughs> work. Work at it. Yes. Then you have legacy. What does legacy mean to you? What do you dream about? A legacy instruct you to do with your money today. What does your dream about legacy instructs you to do with your money today? And last but not least, you got giving. Because that's what you're going to be doing. Did not I say that with your family? Right? Children, family. <sighs> I swear I don't make this up. <laughs> All right. So we're going to give you a last one. And it's a fortune cookie for you. Okay? So again, we're talking about the work here. So I feel like, you know, make those moves. Make those moves. Okay. All right. I ask that this one brings blessings to everyone. Let's see what last message you have here. Whoa. Is it this one? I guess it's that one. And it says communication. A reunion could bring love or rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. And the bottom energy is personal riches. Ooh, small success are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get-rich schemes. Mm, hello. Okay, so I hope this resonates with you. You take it with you, you put it in your pocket. If it doesn't, you leave it behind for someone else to fill their pockets. So take care now. Love and light. Oh, bye-bye.